Andrew Andrews, Lewis Pugh speaking. It's 7.47. We're just coming over the Queen Elizabeth Bridge. Should be there very shortly. Cheers. Welcome to South End on Sea. This is the last of our swims from the North Sea. I'm going to be swimming all the way up the Thames to the Thames Barrier. It's been an incredible journey. We've been through the Mediterranean, the Adriatic, the Aegean, the Black Sea, the Red Sea, the Arabian Sea, and then finally here, the North Sea. I am waiting for the tide to go out completely. And then when the tide turns, the water is going to be moving up the Thames. I'm going to jump in and then move with the tide all the way up. And I'm going to swim for about four or five hours until the tide turns. Then I must get out the river because when the tide turns, you cannot swim against it. And I think it's going to take me three tides to get all the way up to the Thames Barrier to where we're going to end this swim. The Thames Barrier was built 30 years ago. And the reason for it was that they could raise this barrier in the event of a very, very high tide. They estimated when they built it, it would only be used about twice a year. This year alone, it's been used 48 times. The oceans are changing, the climates are changing and we need to be able to adapt to them. Uh, good morning, just getting out of the light to swim. Request on the VTS, thank you. So what time is it now? Now 10.30. Nice. And he says it's just beginning to flow. Yeah. The only thing you're going to have, you're going to have a bit of wind against it, so there'll be a bit of chop, mm. wind over tight. Yep. Um, but otherwise, it should be alright. It's quite warm. It's a bit different Lovely to. Lovely uh, weather. Lovely weather. It's not raining. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. You're going to be wet anyhow. So get in there. About time to go. Yeah, swimmers in the water now, I've seen it was. Skipper tells me we've just done 5.72 miles. I say we, Lewis, we're sitting here in the warm while he's getting rather chilly in, in, in the Thames. It's revolting swimming conditions because there's a heavy chop. The wind is slapping his face and he can't see anything in the water. Yeah, the most difficult swimming conditions he's had, I think, but the tide is, um, is, is pretty strong. So we're uh, making good time. We have to do 14.74. 14.4 miles, and we've done 5.7. Maths, please, Andrew. Maths, come on. Terrible maths. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll, be about a, it'll be about a three hour swim, three and a half hour swim, which is better than we expected. Um, and we might go on an extra half hour to cut out a bit of tomorrow's swim. Yeah, it's been really tough because the wind must have taken a good. Um, three or four K an, an hour off, off his speed. Uh, those waves were very difficult to swim through. Yeah, so it's going to be a tough swim tonight. He's going to have to do at least three and a half, if not four and a half hours uh, to make up lost time and distance. But that's what the river's like. It's, uh, it's unpredictable. If it's smooth, you whistle along. If it's not, it's a really tough swim. Yeah, I'm going to get him out here because the tide's setting us across the main stream. We can't cross, we can't swim across there. So it's better to get him out 200 yards short, make up the distance tonight, and he'll be fine. Well done, Lewis. Good swim. Bloody hard work, that. So that's uh, 10 miles done. That's a third of the way to London. And I'm going to get back in this evening, late at night, when the tide is in our favour again. But it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was hard work out there today. Hard work, so I hope, I hope the conditions improve for tonight. It's nearly 10 o'clock now and I thought I was going to get some sleep before the swim but I've got absolutely no sleep and now I've got to do another 20 kilometers. 
and I've got to do it because we've arranged for the media to be there tomorrow at two o'clock. So if I don't get this done now, it's going to be, it's going to be an almighty, you know what. Lewis. Shouting, and uh, you just think, oh, am I going to hit a boy? Yeah. Are we moving nicely? Yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. four knots. You've, you've done nearly. You've done more than four miles in an hour now. Okay. So just keep on going. Yeah. Get, get on past that. that mark. Go, go boy. Lewis, well, well done, done. Pella. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, what time is it? It's half past two, I think. It's yeah. half past two. Yeah. We're in the bloody Thames. <laughs> We're in the Thames. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I tell you something. You know, when you are in the Thames at this time of the morning, you ask yourself a lot of questions about life. <laughs> well done, fella. Well done. Oh, here you go. Thanks, Sean. There you go. Cool, Thank you're you. freezing. I know, I know. <laughs> so it is three o'clock in the morning and I've just done about 15 kilometers. 
I am frozen cold, but at least we're much closer now to the Thames barrier. Tomorrow, when the tide turns again, I've got about eight kilometers to go until I get to the Thames barrier and then finish the last of the seven swims. It was quite scary out there because you've got so much sensory deprivation. I can't hear because of you know, the water in my ears. I can't see properly because not only is it night, but you're, the goggles are, are, are misting up and you've got lights coming from all different directions, from the shore, from the boat, etc. And then you're swimming and you've got objects in the water. So you've got buoys, you've got piers and everything, and you have to be so switched on. And I was very glad that my crew were, were, were switched on because we came past a buoy and you sometimes can get sucked towards a buoy, but luckily they got me away from it in time. So, uh, it's a bit scary in the water, yeah, a bit scary. Final bit of help I'll give you, Ruth. Come to me. Out the way. <laughs> we are on the Thames, it's Friday morning, it's the final day of a very long three weeks. Uh, for once the weather on the Thames is behaving, it's quite calm, there's a good tide. Last night was pretty hairy, so anything must be better than that. Uh, we hope to meet up with the press at about half past one, somewhere around the barrier. And that will be the end of the Seven Seas swim. It's been quite an adventure. Uh, it's been a, a challenge in places. But I hope that the message about uh, the need for more maritime conservation has come across pretty clearly. Because there is a need, and we've all seen it in the Seven Seas. Uh, and we need to do something pretty urgently about it. It's the final swim now. 10 kilometers to the end. And it's been a, an, an eye-opening experience, this, you know, having gone through all the seven seas. And what's really struck with me is that uh, I haven't seen any big fish. The biggest fish I've seen is literally the size of my hand. Some about 30 centimeters long. I've seen no sharks, I've seen no whales, I've seen no dolphins. All the things which one would expect to have in, in, in a sea. Our, our seas are, are on the edge. And yet, we have seen marine protected areas where when you go into them, they're bountiful and the coral is beautiful and it's just amazing. And so we stand at a really, really important moment. Last step? Yeah. Ready to go? I'm ready. Good luck. Been a long three weeks, but go on, get in there. One, two, three, go! About a half mile to the barrier. This has been an incredible expedition and I've enjoyed it tremendously, although it's been very tough at stages. And I especially want to thank my team. Over the three weeks, there have been over 200 people involved, and I want to thank every single one of them for everything they did, big or small. But for me, it's not over now. I, um, I dream of doing swims in other seas around the world, seas which are also endangered. And I ask everyone to become involved, to speak up on behalf of the seas. They don't have a voice. Tweet about it, blog about it, petition. Go to your local politician and ask them what they're doing to protect our beautiful oceans. So thank you very, very much. Ciao. the delightful town of Gravesend. See you guys later. Boom. Ben, cut the Ben. Ben, behave. Just a Boom. Bye. Boom. Thanks, Jen.